All right, students, in this second video, assignment number two for SketchUp here in 2021, we're looking at shapes and more shapes. And specifically, we're going to be taking a look at how we're going to use SketchUp to make shapes for our project. Now, at first, right now, today, we're not really making any particular shapes. We're just going to be experimenting. So just give it a shot. You're going to turn in what you turn in and it's just a time to experiment in SketchUp. Now I know that many of you are experienced in SketchUp more so than this video might suggest. Please bear with me. I want you to try out all the shape tools. Show me you know how to do it. Now um, you might notice here that I have my hand in the webcam instead of my face. And the reason is because in this particular case, what I really want to have happen is I want you to use SketchUp the right way. And I've seen throughout the course of years, students using SketchUp, that all too often, what happens is they click and drag in SketchUp. They click and drag to try to use the tools. Very, very rarely in SketchUp are you going to click and drag. You're going to click, let go of the mouse, move where you wanna go, and then you're going to click again. And so what we're going to look at here is this, this is my, my mouse so we can easily see what's going on. This is the regular left click. This is the right click and I've got my scroll wheel here. Let's see what we can do with this together. All right, we're here in SketchUp. The tools that we're working with today are the draw tools and there's three basically options that have draw tools underneath them. The first one's a pencil and there's also a freehand tool under the pencil tool here. Uh, there's a, a option that gives us a bunch of arcs we can use and one that has shapes. You're going to be using all of these tools today. Now, the first one here is a pencil, which of course lets us make a line segment. And once we select the tool, we can click the pencil tool. Now we've got it as indicated by the icon we see there. And the way it works is we click and then let go. Okay, so I haven't clicked again. I'm not holding and dragging and you actually can move the mouse around and you can start to see that in certain times, the color of the line segment changes. And so it's important to note here, um, if it turns green, for example, that means that we're going parallel with that green axis. If it turns red, our line is parallel with the red axis, okay? And so what I want you to do here is just click and let go and just like those color by numbers when you were a kid just by clicking i would like you to make the letter of your first name okay and so i don't particularly care um what you chose and in this particular case i'm going to connect it back all up right there and i've got the letter of my first name and um we're going to fill this up with a couple things. I do not want you to have anything touching right now. Okay. So I used the pencil tool. Now I'm going to come in, use the freehand tool, maybe make another letter of my name. Just like that. Um, whatever the next letter in your name is, is fine. Now, if you wanted to, um, in this particular case, I've got part of the D that needs to come out. I can still use that same freehand tool, or I could even go to one of the next tools here, and I can remove that middle section of my D, and that's what I'm going to do. I made a circle. Now, because the circle is on top of the freehand shape of the D, they are now connected. It actually indented the circle. It made a hole in my D, and what I can then do is click that middle filled section of D, I can on my keyboard press the delete button or backspace and it'll go away. And now I've started to make something here. Um, there's more shapes to try out. Um, there are th four different kinds of arcs. Okay, so I want you to make something with all of them. So in this particular one, you click, you let go, you click. Now you can make a circle. Well, it's not really a circle. If you look closely, there are flat sides on this circle. And then when I click another time, it's going to stop that tool. I'm going to go to the next one. This one um, right here is a three-point arc that it's letting me make. You're going to go through all of these. 
see what they do. Experiment with them multiple times. This one's fun. This one's Pac-Man. It's not the official SketchUp term for it, but it sure looks like that. Um, and then this one, we choose the center point. We come out again. I just clicked. I'm not clicking and dragging. And we can make that arc from that center point. Okay. And now we've got that filled in pie shape. Same thing with these shapes going here. And I really want you to not have anything overlap. Not have anything overlap. Put them all over the place. Even a letter. The letter tool, the word tool, you can make your last name if you want. And then put that somewhere else on this page. Now, um, we're not quite done yet because what I want us to now look at is... Um, what the circle tool actually is and so i know we've looked at a bunch of shapes i think this is pretty review for most of us um, but i want to remind you that the circle tool which is this one right here can make any number of shapes and so again i don't have any fingers on the mouse i click the circle and let go I, I'm not, you know, like holding the mouse button in the, the biggest problem students make. And then down there, um, you'll actually see where it says sides. It says 24. Well, we all know that a circle doesn't have a number of sides. And 24 is probably going to be obvious when we're using the circle. So what I'm going to do is I'm not using the mouse. Okay, all I did was click the circle tool with the mouse. I haven't clicked anything else. And when you see the word sides down at the bottom, you're going to use your keyboard to type in the number of sides that you want. So in this particular case, I'm going to type in three. Okay, and you'll notice down there, it changed the number of sides of my circle to three. And I'm going to press enter and it's going to give me now a three sided circle that I have control over. If you look at this closely, clearly it's not a circle. It is a different shape, but you can do a three-sided circle. You can come back over here to the circle tool and I want you to then make a four-sided circle. Mr. Vincent, you're crazy. A four-sided circle is called a square. You're gonna make a circle with five sides. Again, nothing touching, okay? And then I want you to make a circle with six sides. Put it somewhere else here on your document. This right here, what you see with all of these shapes, including your last name using text, is assignment two. As a quick review on how to turn this in, you're gonna be opening up the snipping tool. Snipping tool, as a reminder, will let you take a snip of your work. I need you to take a snip of the entire screen. So what you're gonna do, click new, once you click new, come all the way up to the upper left corner, drag all the way down to the lower right corner of your screen. It has to include the name of the file and it has to include more importantly or equally importantly, the date and time on there as well. Okay, so um, I do notice here that I forgot to rename this file. Bad Mr. Vinson. So what I'm going to do is um, go back over here click that this is now assignment two okay which is shapes and it's actually called shapes and more shapes but you can just put shapes we go back to the sketchup to the snipping tool new file drag it now i've got my submission for assignment two i'm going to save it somewhere safe And then I'm going to go back into Teams. As a reminder, the way to get to this form, you go to Teams, click SketchUp at the top. When you click SketchUp at the top, it's going to take you to this form right here. Just a couple key pieces of information we're looking for. First, last ID number period, um, which assignment it is, and then click Choose File. Make sure that all of this is updated. The most important things are which SketchUp assignment you're turning in and your ID number. If either of those are incorrect, when I grade it, it will not make it to your correct assignment in Atlas. As always, if you have any questions, we rewatch the video. Reach out to me. Reach out to your classmates. Be glad to help you in any way I can. Thanks again.